Did you know she said she was 18 when I met her? Did you know that? No, you probably told her she was 18. <laughs> She's probably like, I'm 15. You like, no, nah, no, nah, you ain't no 15. You, you, you at least 18. <laughs> and she like, no, no, I'm, I'm 15. She's like, no, 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 no. No, you, you, you 18 and a half. <laughs> like, no, for real, I'm 14. So like, no, wait, now you're going backwards. Uh-uh, no, you are 19 years old. Now come with me. All right, let's take up the issue of the letter and the photographs and your offer of proof, sir, if you have one. Please. I don't need no offer of proof. I'll ask you a second time. Do you have an offer of proof we, we to provide, sir? That. We can go past all that. I don't, I don't need to ask them questions. It's too much of an issue. It's too much of a problem. Mr. Brooks, I'm going to ask you for a third time. Do you have an offer of proof? No. I just said no. I just said no. I just said that. All right. Thank you. Then based upon there being no offer of proof, then, ah. uh, my decision stands. Now, what you ain't going to do, Daryl, is be slamming your paper bag bobble. <laughs> what did Jesus do to you? Okay, <laughs> you gonna take this out on Jesus now? That's what you gonna do? Okay, Jesus did not do you wrong. Okay, if anything, you did Jesus wrong. Okay, as to the continuation of the examination of Miss Patterson, I would like an offer of Someone proof as to what you believe her probative and relevant testimony will be from this point forward. Okay. I don't know how she's going to answer the rest of the questions. There's not that many questions left. I was almost done. <laughs> what topics generally were you going? That's funny. That's funny. Look, I was almost done talking to her. I had almost asked all the things I was going to. I had so many things, Your Honor, <laughs> to ask. And I was just finally down to like my last, like what, two or three tops. You know, so I just, you know, all I needed to do was answer like three more questions. And that was it. What, what, did, what did you need to ask her? Huh? <laughs> so what? So huh? What you mean, what did I need to ask? Like, what questions? Yes, what questions did you have to ask? Huh? Oh, Daryl, you's a hot mess. Yes, you is. You's a hot mess. Yes, you is. I'm going to question her about... What was that? I guess I'll have to look in here because. Oh, well, Daryl playing double dutch in his head. Like, what was <laughs> He like this. <laughs> was that double dutch? Double dutch. Double dutch. Ooh, double dutch. Hey, y'all. Y'all see. Y'all see Daryl's little buddies here. Look at this. Look, look, look. look at Daryl. Why are you looking at Daryl's butt like that? Like, you know what? It, it, I'm not kidding either. Look at this. This man is looks like he's looking directly at Daryl's booty. Daryl, you got a fan, honey. <laughs> you got a fan, honey. Okay. Look at him. He's just sitting back like, hey, what's up, boo? What's up with you? What's up, baby pie? Mm. Say, Bubba sent me to test out the goods. <laughs> <laughs> double dutch double dutch Ooh. so much that happens look at him he is steady looking at the past hour okay. and a half or so you gonna cut that out say look he broke our eye contact when looked up he just realized he got caught <laughs> i can tell you one thing i, I don't intend to uh, <laughs> i don't intend to have too many more questions i tell you that i was almost finished I need an offer of proof as to look at that look at that look, look, look. she's like look i am bringing her back in here i'm not bringing erica back in here for no reason for no stupid ass reason okay so you tell me what you play what else you had to ask her about and i'll think about bringing her back in right he don't have a thing so he couldn't name a thing and now he's like i can tell you one thing i you know i ain't have too many questions left i can tell you that for sure like, ain't nobody asked you that. I said, what you want to ask her? You can't give me an answer. Then she ain't coming back in here. There ain't no point. She free. She can go get a freedom sandwich right now. <laughs> oh, Daryl, you so dumb. What you believe her testimony would be, meaning what topics? 
And are they topics that have not already been covered either through her direct examination from the state, your cross-examination, or already covered by your direct? I don't remember her. Uh, what, what do you mean by related to her direct? Is that from the last time she testified? From the from the first date that she testified and from today. I don't what remember. new topics? I don't remember everything she testified to the first time. It was two weeks ago. Well, Mr. Brooks, this is your opportunity to prevent relevant and probative evidence. But under 90611, she's already been questioned now twice by you. So what new topics do you intend to question her about when she comes back on the witness stand? What do you mean by new topics? Mm. Topics that you haven't already covered. What, to pursue it to the police report or something? Is that what you're asking? No, I, I don't understand. I'm asking you. Oh, my God. I don't know what I'm asking you once again, sir. Give me an offer of proof as to what you believe uh, your questioning will be as to Ms. Patterson going forward. And you say it related to topics, right? You can just give me the topics. I think that's fair. I wanted to ask questions about the police reports. That was the last few questions. That's why I'm saying it was only. Is that a statement that she wrote? No, no. Spoiler alert, no. <laughs> I don't know if it's a statement that she wrote in here. Do you, see a, is. do you see a written statement with her signature on it? I don't have to go through all the paperwork. Is there a written statement from Ms. Patterson? Oh, yeah. It's my understanding Detective Goot spoke to her on both occasions, is that right? Yes, Previously provided with discovery. Absolutely. You gonna cry about it, Daryl? You gonna cry? What about the police report, sir? Do you want to question her about so I know with specificity? Oh, I'm looking at it now. Oh mm, God, just make something up, Daryl. Just lie. <laughs> this is a perfect time to lie. <laughs> He be lying at the wrong times, y'all. How many officers? How many officers did reports? Because it seemed like it's more than just two. Um, at least from this is that what you gonna ask, Erica? More than two. May I ask Mr. Brooks is referring to? I can maybe help him try and explain, but sure. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, she like, don't be trying to help him. Let him scramble around in papers. Isn't that so funny? He waited until she got all the way over there to say to, to claim that she snatched it. <laughs> Pages two and three out of six from Detective Barron's report under Waukesha Police Department incident number 21-047533. This is one of the two reports we've been talking about. <laughs> regarding the statements that Ms. Patterson gave to detectives on November 21st and then on November 22nd. This is the first statement. Is that the officer you just said? Yes. What about that report do you want to question this witness about? Uh, the report is not in order, so again, as I stated before, I would have to read it. Mr. Brooks, I trust that you're prepared. These are your witnesses. So what questions, what about that report do you want to question Ms. Patterson on? Yeah, what did you want to ask her? Your Honor, I just stated three times. No, you I didn't. I have to read a little bit of this to form the questions. Under my authority, under 90611, then, and given that this witness was Initially called by the state, there was a full and fair opportunity for cross-examination by Mr. Brooks at that time, and they had ample time this morning to question her. Mm -hmm. um, I will uh, declare that the his questioning of her to be closed. Over. I will bring the witness out on the witness stand, when the, uh, and then we'll bring the jury out, and then I will simply ask the state if there are any questions, and then we'll move on from there. Just so I understand, what do you mean by closed? I'm not allowing you to ask her any additional questions given your full and fair opportunity that you had previously when she was called by the state and given the opportunity you had this morning and your failure to identify for this court any probative and relevant information that she would testify to about what's in that report. Uh, 
how do I, first of all, the report isn't even in order. So I would have to essentially read at least some of it to even ask Mr. Brooks, this is your witness. I expect that you will be prepared and you will not cause delay by any lack thereof. Good so luck with that. I'm bringing the witness out. The jury will come out and I'm, you will not have another opportunity to ask any additional questions unless what that mean close <laughs> on cross. Right, Polly D. What that mean? What you mean close? When you say close, what do you mean exactly? Do you mean like open? <laughs> Do you mean like over top, like over top of? No. What do, what do you mean? I mean, you say close, but I feel like what you mean to say is, you know, I can do whatever I want because Daryl. That's what I feel like that what you said meant. Was I right or no? That's going to be a no, Daryl. That's going to be a no. Now get up, up underneath the prison. Get up, up underneath the prison. <laughs> examination so what is we bring the, the witness prison out for i have to do that in front of the jury prison young prison young i object to that ruling too can you can you give me a, a lawful law why your objection is noted for the record if you she gone daryl when the jury comes out or makes any over. commentary you will be removed to the other courtroom and daryl you blew it she's gone she's out of your life <laughs> She's gone forever, or at least until the trial from you running over her foot. When you will, and that's so I'm being held in contempt again. No, it's not contempt, sir. It's a finding under Illinois versus Allen. It's a warning that you it's will forfeit contempt. your right so to be just, present. I might as well just stay no over there. No such contempt finding. I might as well have just stay yeah, over there. Yeah, you might as well have just. Mr. Brooks, that decision is for you and you alone to make, and it is based on your conduct. There. If you're going to continue, take me over here. just take me over there because I'm not. I'm not going to get held in contempt for nothing. I have not held you in contempt. You did. You're, you're, you're attempting to hold me in contempt. That's what that is. No, nope, that's not contempt. So is it civil or criminal? It's you Why ran over a bunch of people. Him. That's what it is. It's him saying, is it civil or criminal? Is it civil or is it criminal? <laughs> okay, so I took my mother's car and I drove it through the parade. I murked six whole people, just removed them from the planet. Just snappled a finger, gone. I like maimed like 70 something of them. Okay. And Merc 6. Now, y'all got me in this here courtroom. Is this civil or criminal? <laughs> that's a big, that's a big, big, dumb, dumb question you got there. I'm going to keep that's you the in whole, here because that's the whole reason you're going to make yourself the next witness and I'm going to need Your to Honor, bring you over in any event. That's the whole reason why I didn't want to come over here because you were going to find a reason to hold me in contempt. Well, I'm finding a reason, and it's not contempt, but I'd find a reason to remove you based upon your disruptive outburst. Well, then remove me if that's your... what you want to do. Remove me then. I don't want to do it, sir. I Obviously want you, you do. this courtroom. Obviously you do. You brought it up before before we can even get to... All right. Mr. Brooks has forfeited his right to be present in this yep. courtroom for the remainder of this witness. Go on now, girl. Um, yeah. so did I, we'll did I actually forfeit that right? You yep. have forfeited your right to be present. Yep. And yes. how did I forfeit that right, Your Honor? All right. I um, said so. We're going off the record so that he can be removed to the other courtroom and he you can call his way next of, witness I said so. after we complete with um, Ms. Patterson and giving the state an opportunity from the neighboring courtroom. And once you can promise to this court that you will abide by uh, the rules of decorum and civility and, uh, and if you're willing to conduct yourself consistently within that, uh, then Good I will love allow you that, to come back Honor. over. So why am I being held in contempt now? I'm what, not what, holding you in contempt. Then what did I do? All right, I'm going to step off. What did I do? Um, you've interrupted repeatedly. I'm going to step off. I didn't do nothing. Get the jury. Ah, she remains so calm in the in this case. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. How did she do it? Just for the record, Mr. Brooks is appearing from another courtroom. That should not affect your deliberation or verdicts in any way. At this time, does the state have any questions for this witness? All right, thank you, ma'am, you may step down. Thank you for being here. The mute button, your honor. What is he looking at? All right, the defense may call its next witness, please. He's so fucking weird, look at him. Go ahead, sir, you can call your next witness. I thought I was muted. 
You're not muted. So how long am I supposed to stay here now? Um, I'm going to excuse the jury. We'll help hopefully have you back shortly. All rise for the jury, please. What you going to do, Daryl? Bad Daryl, bad Daryl. What you going to do? Not a damn thing because you in the other room. <laughs> Bars. Bars, know what I'm saying? She going double platinum, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she is unsufferable. Suffering succotash. All right, the jury is no longer in the courtroom. Mr. Brooks, I had the jury leave the courtroom because it appeared to me you wanted to perhaps either ask to come back into the courtroom or make another record of something. Um, do you want to come back into this courtroom as you call your next witness? You're not muted. You're unmuted. So what's going on now? Mm -hmm. Girl, Emma, he can't hear. Again? The record will reflect that pursuant to Illinois versus Allen, Mr. Brooks was not held in contempt, although that is one of the possible ways for a trial judge to handle a uh, defendant who is stubbornly defiant, disruptive, and contemptuous. That is not the only way in which a judge... <laughs> Tony, oh, mom, how long do I have to stand in the corner? <laughs> yeah, that's Daryl in the other room. So how long do I got to be in here now? How long do I have to be on this here punishment? Like, until you start acting like you got some sense, boy. Go now.